cookbook friend welcome to the cookbook divas youtube channel my name is katie and today we're going to look at the hungry girl cookbook fast and easy this came out i believe it came out this year this is by the one and only lisa lillian she's the founder of hungry girl and i of course i'm excited because as school has started to ramp up most of us are in class a lot of us are actually going back to work we're starting to realize there's not a lot of time in the day to start, you know, accumulating recipes and cooking like we used to, maybe during quarantine. So I like this. This is going to be very helpful so that we can create these meals that are really tasty and healthy in hopefully 30 minutes or less. That's the hope, at least. So let's kind of look through this together. Um, oh, cool. Okay, so I really like this. She has a whole section here uh, that has a list of her old cookbooks that she's done. So if you're looking for something specific and you love the franchise Hungry Girl, you can look at all of these other Hungry Girl cookbooks or Lisa Lillian's cookbooks and figure out what would work for you in your life. That's really helpful, very cool. I haven't seen that before. So let's look at the table of contents here. Okay, here we go. So we start off with fast and easy recipe guides. So that includes, and I see right away, there's gluten-free recipe guides. We have single serve, vegetarian, family size. So if you've got like this massive family and it's really hard for you to like do menu plans, I understand I grew up in a large family. So this is super helpful. We also have salads and slaws. Oh, okay. And I also want to point out too. So she subdivides the chapters as well, at least some of them. So for instance, in her salads and slaws chapter, she has she starts off with poultry, then she goes to beef and pork, then seafood, and then meatless. And then all the a lot of the other chapters are divided at, like that as well. So that's really nice if you're looking to kind of categorize and figure out exactly what you want to eat through the day uh, according to meat or protein. So your second chapter is stir fries and skillet meals. Then we have sheet pan meals. Next we have one pot recipes. Then we have, so this is where it starts to change. There is 10 minute power bowls. Then we have five minute salad dressings. Then we have three ingredient protein roll ups. Chapter eight is speedy cucumber subs. That sounds really good. I don't think I've ever had a cucumber sub. We also have five minute smoothies, quickie crepes. Then we have two ingredient cake mugs, two ingredients. Holy moly, I'm impressed. I can't wait to look at this. And then uh, last chapter, it looks like is fast and easy kitchen guides. So I noticed when I picked this cookbook up right away, it's very colorful. So all the edges are color coordinated with the actual chapter indicator color. So again, we have like, let's try to find this again. Uh oh, there's so much going on in this cookbook. So chapter one is the salads and slaws. It's pink. So then if you wanted to flip through to the actual pink section, you're going to find salads and slaws. So you'll see this here. It's all pink right up here. Uh, it's not matching the actual, the sides aren't matching the um, actual color of the chapter, but the top does. That's interesting. Okay, so moving forward. Sorry, I got very distracted. Let's look at some of the recipes. There's quite a few recipes in here. So we have a steak fajita salad. This looks very good. I would probably put this on a weekly meal because I love taco salads and stuff like that. Let's move on from salads. There's a garlic butter shrimp with squash noodles. Ooh, that looks really awesome. A lot of these are very healthy. Then we have spicy eggplant stir fry. I love the vegetarian options she's provided in here. They're, yeah, they all look very tasty. So then we have a barbecue chicken mitza. That looks tasty. Then we have crispy tofu tacos. So I want to point out here, because we're on the tacos, so I have to show you. 
She, if you're somebody that's really health conscious, you're counting calories, maybe you're working out, trying to lose weight, she provides all of the calories on each, every single recipe. She has how long it takes to make, so this one is 30 minutes. Then she has whether or not it's like vegan, gluten free, any of that stuff. So it's very straightforward, really easy to navigate. And it's just really helpful, especially if you're just trying to, you know, lose weight and be healthier. So let's look at a few more recipes she's provided. Garlic parm chicken. I can't believe this is 279 calories. That is crazy. But it is over zucchini noodles. It's amazing how much pasta can add on to the calories. Then we have a Cajun salmon chowder. Ooh, that looks really good. I want to look at some of these two ingredient cup mug desserts. That's crazy to me. You'll see beautiful pictures throughout. These are the salad dressings and I, I'm very curious about it just because I would love to be able to, I think it's healthier to make your own salad dressing, less sugar and salt. So let's see, we have, and then we have a whole bunch of recipes that don't have photos but are very easy to alter and change up. So like this is all of the roll-ups, your turkey hummus, jicama roll-up, ham, Swiss, and cucumber roll-up. So all of them are essentially the same techniques, just different ingredients. So I really like that. Let's see. We have here, I think I skipped it because it's so small. Maybe they don't. So the crepe section is great too. Okay, here we go. The two ingredient cake mugs. Sorry, it took so long. So we've got, I can't, I can't, oh, it's cake mix. Okay, <laughs> that makes more sense. So we have like, for the orange cloud cake mug, there is a fourth a cup angel food cake mix, and then two tablespoons of mandarin segments packed in juice, not drained. Okay, so that's a little cheaty, but that's fine. Um, I like this. This makes our life a lot easier. We can actually, you know, enjoy our life at home and enjoy really healthy food. And I really like, so I know that calorie counters can be a huge pain because you're trying to add everything, you know, you might be eating and you're trying to add everything that you might have eaten during the meal. It can be really hard to navigate. So I like that she's placed all of these, you know, all of the calories and stuff for you, so you don't actually have to, you can actually just write it in a notebook and be able to gauge everything by that. So this is a really cool book if you're looking for really quick meal fixes, and if you're really health conscious, this is something you might want to check out. So this is Hungry Girl, Fast and Easy. This is by the one and only Lisa Lillian. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like all of these videos, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Make sure to leave a comment as well. We like to know how we're doing, what kind of videos you guys want to watch next. Uh, if you want more cookbook content, come join us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and our podcast. Uh, that airs usually on Fridays. We try to do weekly roundups. So come join us there. We'd love to see you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a fantastic day.